Have you ever wondered if ChatGPT can do your homework? Well, the answer is definitely yes. And let's say first off that you have a problem like this, 8x squared minus 10x plus three, and the question is just saying factor. All right, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks today that will allow ChatGPT to not only do your assignment, but also kind of help you understand it along the way. Right, we can't really use it on tests and quizzes. So I'm gonna show you some questions to ask while you're doing your assignments. That's not only gonna help you get the right answers, but also help you understand what you're doing in math class. Let's go. All right, so we're over here in the computer and I just asked ChatGPT, I said, can you help me with a math problem and can I share an image of it? So just a little trick is if you go to Desmos graphing calculator, you can see I already typed in our question from the board earlier, which is 8x squared minus 10x plus three. And you can just copy and paste a screenshot of this. However, because I'm screen recording, um, I can't do that right now, but I am just gonna copy this. All right, and so let's do that. Copy, and then I'm gonna paste it over here into ChatGPT. And I'm gonna show you that it can answer this question um, right away. It said, would you like to factor it, solve it, or what? So remember our question um, was saying to just factor. So it has a few different steps. It shows us kind of what we did. It says we look for two numbers that multiply to be eight times three, which was our first and last numbers, which is how I teach this as well, okay? And it also says we're gonna add those same numbers up to be negative 10. So two numbers that do that are negative four and negative six. Then it says you split the middle term or the B term, if you think of that as A, B, and C. All right, so that's what those two are. And it says we're gonna group it together and factor. All right, now that's nice. And it comes up with the correct answer, which is four X minus three times two X minus one. However, like I said earlier, we can't use ChatGPT on tests and quizzes. So now I'm gonna ask it some more specific questions that this is the part where I know my students probably don't put in the effort into their uh, ChatGPT or their photo math, or whatever they're using to help them solve some of their questions, right? Um, and so this is what maybe I would ask them. I'm gonna say, can you explain it to me like I'm back in middle school? <laughs> And let's see what it says, all right? So it says, absolutely, let's break it down step by step. You're in middle school and just starting to learn how to factor quadratics. You gave me this, 8x squared minus 10x plus three. This is a quadratic expression. This means it has an x squared term, okay? So first off, right away, what I'm thinking is any time that I see an x squared, I might have to try to factor like what it's showing me here. So it says um, that we're gonna try to break it into two smaller expressions multiplied together. It says like this, we're gonna take something times something, and that is our factors, all right? Okay, and if I scroll down, it's gonna show us these whole, the whole steps to finding these, okay? It finds those two numbers, they multiply and add to get those same two, and then it says it splits them, it puts them together so that we're going to, what's called factor this, all right, where it takes out something from kind of this first term and something from the second term so that we get the same two terms left over here and here is 2x minus one. All right, and then you actually factor that out as well. And that of course is what our final answer is, is those two multiplied by each other. Okay, so that's just one example. Um, let's show you one other type of problem. All right, so I'm about to type in a new prompt to chat GPT and it says I'm studying for a final and I have a system of equations problem with both X's and Y's in the problem. Will you give me an example of a problem like this? Okay, so I don't know what it's gonna spit out at us. I haven't done this yet. So I'm kind of gonna see it along with you. It says, absolutely. Here's an example of a systems of equations problem where it has both X's and Y's. So maybe you're studying for a final and you remember back to this chapter where there was uh, maybe a couple equations and both of them had X's and Y's like you see here. All right, and it says that a system of equations, this means that you're looking for a value of X and a value of Y that make both equations true at the same time. Okay, so how are we going to solve this? So I'm gonna again say, again, please, I always think it's nice when you say please to chat GPT. Again, please explain it to me like I don't, like I've never seen it before maybe. And then in parentheses, I'm gonna say, and I'm not the smartest one in the class and need extra help. Okay, so after we do that, 
<laughs> First off, it always likes to say something nice. It says, you're doing a great job by asking for help. That's how <laughs> smart people learn. I always think it's hilarious as to what it says back at us sometimes. Okay, so it says, here's the system again. And again, it's going to walk us through kind of step by step. It even gave us emojis this time. So I I don't know. If I keep putting stuff in saying I'm not too smart, it's going to think, it's going to start giving me bi- uh, pictures maybe. But um, sometimes that's what we need as uh, students that are learning our math. You might need to know kind of what's, what it's talking about. So let me just kind of walk through this one. And just If this is something that you're struggling with, it says equation one and equation two. These are the system of our equations, all right? And we need to have the two unknowns, X and Y. So step by step, first step, it says we're going to solve one equation for just one variable meaning that we're going to isolate one variable by itself, all right? And doing that here, the X equals something, and that something is going to have the Y in it, okay? Then it says we have to plug that into the other equation. So we know how to plug things in. So I'm going to take that and plug in the Y plus 1 in for the X in the other problem. So it was 2X. So instead of X, now the next part, I'm replacing that X with what it told me, all right? Step 3, it says solve this equation only for y now, all right? So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna get a final answer where you have both x and y, and um, it's gonna kinda explain all this to you. So use ChatGPT. Yes, you can get your answer just by typing in your question. However, if you wanna use it as a good study tool, you might want to ask for additional problems and also maybe say, can you give it to me step by step? And if you're still not understanding it, say, why don't you tell it to me like I'm a, a fifth grader, or maybe, you know, like I'm back in middle school, like I said earlier. But if you're using ChatGPT for kind of a review tool, or maybe just to help you out with your assignments, um, keep some of those questions in mind. Maybe be specific in what you're asking it to do, because we know we don't just want the answers. We want to know how to do the math, and it's a great tool in order to do that. All right, guys, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a like down below. That way, less of us will struggle in math class from now on. All right, we'll see you in the next one.